What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, I know it's been about a week since we put a video out, and I'm sorry guys, but if you notice behind me here, you're like, we usually start out at the intro with this door, which we did today too, but over here, this door here never used to be here. There used to be a cabinet right there, like that cabinet. And I ripped it off the wall, put that door in so I can go straight into the house because this door over here only goes to the back patio. <laughs> and funny thing guys, you see this mark on my forehead, I uh, smacked myself upside the forehead with a 2x4 pulling that cabinet off the wall. It hurt pretty bad, but we got that job done, now we can go back to doing YouTube. So as you guys can see here, I was going to do a, a video a couple days ago on getting these interior parts for the Sonoma there. Man, it's really bright. But I was going to do a video on getting these parts cleaned up and painted. But it got too cold. So today it's still a little bit too chilly out to do any kind of painting on these parts. So we're going to do something with the SS. Now as you can see right here, that is the bumper for the SS. And I want to get it put back on the truck before we go do what we're going to do. And you know guys, I'm honestly thinking about starting to uh, add those little projects into the channel as well. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I really feel like I should start doing a vlog type of thing on this channel, more than just modifications on the vehicles. Um, you know, I've been watching YouTube for a couple years now, and the more and more I watch it, the more I study other YouTubers and their methods, rather than just watch the content. and. I really feel like vlogging is where it's at. Let me know what you guys think. But as far as this bag bumper goes, for those of you that don't know why the cover's off, you can see I got my ball on the bumper there because we are going to be picking up a project for the Sonoma. Well, it's just a parts donor truck for the Sonoma. So I had to put that ball on, take the cover off so that we could pull a trailer. But now with this coronavirus thing going on and being on lockdown, we got to put that on hold. So I'm going to go ahead and take the ball back off the truck, get the bumper cover put back on, so that way the truck looks nice and clean again. Now the first thing I got to do is go get a wrench big enough for that. Well guys, I don't got a wrench, but I do got my breaker bar and a socket. Let's get this thing taken off of here. Uh, let that soak in for a minute and see if we can get this thing off of here. I don't have vice grips or a pipe wrench to grab hold of this ball with. Well guys, I don't have anything to grab hold of that ball with. It's crazy I don't own a pipe wrench or a big old pair of vice grips, but it is what it is. We're going to have to continue to go without the cover on the back bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to get into today. So a lot of you may or may not have heard of these things before. And uh, if you have, then you know it's probably going to be pretty cool. I've never tried it before, so I'm hoping it turns out really cool. But uh, this is what we're doing today, guys. This right here is called a shutter bomb. And I know the letters are purple. And I hope it's not purple because I ordered blue and uh hopefully it turns out to be blue instead of purple but either way i think it's going to be cool so that's what's happening we're going to take this out in the ss and we're going to do a little photo shoot for some more instagram pics and hopefully it turns out awesome so with that being said guys let's jump in the truck and go get this done all right let's hit the road and head out where we're going You know, babe, a lot of cars out here for some social distancing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think everybody out here is uh, doing something essential. <laughs> Which is okay, because we're not really doing anything essential either. But hey, that's a lie. Uh, we stopped and got gas. Forgot to film that, but I did put a glove on, guys. So, uh, didn't catch the corona from the gas pump, hopefully. Wore my glove. 
But yeah, I think uh, most people out here really aren't doing essential things. They're just being real safe, staying away from one another. Don't you think? I mean, we're being pretty safe. Keeping gloves on, using sanitizer, all that good stuff. It's probably the way it ought to be anyways. stuck in the house hadn't been driving anywhere <laughs> blowing out some cobwebs <laughs> there's somebody's dogs out yeah. i think those people back there were gonna ch try to get it oh hey we want to go there <laughs> uh oh <laughs> i was too busy looking at that dog i missed my turn guys we gotta stop <laughs> we gotta stop and watch this filthy thing <laughs> turn around here and say, yes way yeah, good thing this thing has an all the way through drive. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I totally missed my turn. <laughs> See, uh, I don't think the car wash is too essential either, but we obviously got plenty of people using it, so I'm going to use it real quick too. I mean, this one here is like really dirty. I don't know if I want to go in there. Yeah. I think I'm going to go back over to that one over there where they had the garage door shut. But we can probably open it up. Alright. 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 We're going to wash this filthy animal real quick. I got a glove for this too, so I don't have to grab that handle. We got the truck clean. Let's get out to our little spot. Alright. Alright, fam. So while we're on our way out to this spot that we're gonna take these pictures at and stuff, I just want to touch up on what I was saying earlier. I really am considering turning this channel into more of a vlog style instead of just modifications on our vehicles. So like I said, comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know if you think that that's what I should do or if we should just stick with the way things are going now. Oh, here comes our bridge again. I got the muffler. I got the muffler back on the truck right now, so it's not very loud. But we can still do a little pull under the bridge, right? <laughs> it's totally worth it every chance you get. See how loud it actually is with the muffler on. Yeah, it's not bad. Woo! <laughs> Man, that was like quarter throttle. <laughs> Old Cam does this has got some power. <laughs> I wonder if there was any people at that park back there. They're probably thinking, what the heck? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get back with you when we get to this spot. We're almost there. Well, we got to find a different spot. This one here just isn't going to work out. We got people out here, because this is like a little sand hill resort sort of thing, so people come out here and walk around and stuff. But on the other side of that car, we'll go over here and show you. <laughs> see that big old top? I don't know if you guys can see him. You see that big old Tom? He was just... Well, the, the two smaller ones are, are uh, what do you call them? I don't know, females. But uh, he was just all feathered out trying to show off to them girls. I wonder if he'll do it again. I bet he won't. But I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's got a big old beard on him. Anyway, you guys probably don't even like this Kansas wildlife nature crap anyway. We're going to go find a different spot. This, this parking lot was actually number two. Number one is just up the road here, I'll show you. This parking lot right here is where we were actually gonna do it at, but there's somebody here as well, and I don't wanna disturb everybody. It's supposed to be social distancing, so we're gonna go find somewhere different. <laughs> Yo, check it out, guys. She's chasing that little RC car. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty 
awesome to see what people come up with when they get bored of this lockdown quarantine stuff. <laughs> really get your mind going. <laughs> anyway, we've uh, ventured into our local park because there just isn't any other good spot to do this thing at. Um, no good parking lots or nothing and no good scenery either except for out here. So we're going to just find a place to pull off the side of the road here and give this shutter bomb a shot. All right, guys, I think we finally found us a spot. A couple cars around, but it's okay. We're gonna do this thing. Hopefully it turns out really awesome. I think that's gonna work for a good backdrop. Everything looks cool to me. Ain't nothing left to do, but just do it. Well, I thought it wasn't going to be as windy as it is. It doesn't seem like it, but hopefully that worked out. I hope we took some really good pictures. Be sure to check out the Instagram to see the final results. And uh, we probably better get out of here and head back to the house. <laughs> well, guys, we're headed back to the house. Uh, I already looked over the pictures that I got on my phone, and a couple of them turned out all right. Maybe I can pull some better pictures off of the video footage. Uh, one thing's for sure is that it's hard to control uh, smoke like that, especially when you are got a windy day and, and it's just almost impossible to catch a day with no wind in Kansas. I might have to just look into a couple little tricks of doing a photo shoot with smoke like that. But uh, if you guys want to see the finished product on that photo shoot, be sure to check out my Instagram, at B underscore modified. But with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's content, smash that like button leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe on your way out and just like that we'll catch you guys in the next one